Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Mark Shea here and you're watching another episode of Exploring Music. Today I'm going to put up or shut up and show you exactly what I was saying about my video, The One Scale to Rule Them All. So you ready? Check it out! Okay. So I don't really have the setup to do electric with, you know, soloing over backing tracks and all that. So basically I'm playing the backing track through my PA and I'm just running the guitar through a little practice amp just so it's not too loud. Um, so I don't know how this microphone will hold up. So hopefully the, the camera down here or the microphone up there will capture the sound well enough that I can post this video. So if you're watching this video, it worked. <laughs> But don't expect high grades quality sound. This is just, I just got a little distortion going through a little practice amp and got the backing tracks running through um, the, my little PA. Okay, so this, what I'm doing here to show is like I've had a few, I haven't had comments, but I've had a few people messaging me going, oh, I don't really know. We go, Are you sh that doesn't sound right, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm here to show you the whole point. Now, I'm going to use, I'm starting off, because like I said, my last, in that video of the one scale rule them all, I didn't want to do any copyrighted material. So, um, I'm going to actually be playing over one of my songs called Memory for Life, which is in G. And, um, yeah, and I might try a couple other songs afterwards and just see how we go having them on YouTube. I might have to chop them off, but I'm going to start on my song here, so that way if I have an issue with the songs that aren't mine, then um, I can just splice the video. So if you don't see anything after this song, then that's, if there's no other songs after this song, that's why. But anyway, uh, the song is in G, and as I said, the scale that I showed you, the one scale to rule them all, is the foundation. It's the formation of a hand position. Like I said, there's people that, it's a pentatonic minor. Ugh. But this is where I'm going to show you. I'm going to start off in the E position, or as people will say, the E pentatonic minor. But then I'm going to move that same position. I ain't going to change the position. I'm going to play really generic just so you can see how that position, that framework works. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to move the E to the G, right? Because like I said, you remember if you remember the video, um, we were doing it in G, like, you know, E, and then I said move down. Well, this song's in G, so the G is the major formation, and then we move it down into the minor formation, and then we explore the notes around it. But I'm going to stick into the notes. I'm not going to do what I normally do and just wander around. I'm going to stick in those two formations so you can see and hear exactly what I was getting at. I am literally taking that whole formation and moving it up. So they're two totally different keys being played. Yeah, I know the, the G and the E minor is the same scale, blah, 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 blah. But I'm just showing you the difference of switching between the two and how it's, this formation isn't the whole pentatonic minor crap that everyone goes on about. So, let's have a go. So hopefully this will pick it up. And it, you know, that camera should be, uh, this camera here should be okay for it, but we're gonna have a go and just see, have some fun. Okay.
But you get the idea. So, um, so you see in the E and the G, um, and it is two totally different sounds, but they both fit over it. So this is where you want to really know your keys and all that. Like I said, your majors and your minors, but it's like switching between the two. Now, I, I was very crude about it with the switching. Um, I get it. That was to, to make a point like, hello, I'm in a totally different key here. But when you get familiar with it, you can go from the E position and bleed into the G position and then go back. It's all about how you do it. Like I, like I said in the other video, you try and make it fit. See how you go making it fit. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm going to try another song for you. Um, this is a, just a bluesy backing, backing track. I think the song's in B, I think. Um, so we're going to start off in B and then just see where it goes from there. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's in B major or minor. I think it's, I think it's the minor. So anyway, this is just to prove my point. Um, just letting you know the two different scales I'm in. I'll make sure it's written there so that you can see the change. And let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it, that doesn't quite work as well. This is why I said you got to try and make them work. Now the notes still fit, but because of the vibe of the song, putting a major -y sound over a minor sort of feel just doesn't quite gel. But nothing saying nothing says that it actually doesn't work. It's not like I was playing like A over B. Okay, so now we're, now we're going to do one that's a bit more upbeat. Um, I think some of you should know this song, but I just love this. I love the vibe of this song, so I'm going to play it and hope it doesn't get stricken. Anyway, I just love this song. I'm going to show you. This one is in E. It's a bluesy feel, but this one's more upbeat. And so you'll see the difference where we're going to go from the B, uh, the E, Up. So you ready?
see I was flicking back and forwards and I did sort of wander off in my own little world sometimes um, but this is just to show you that the formation is there the foundations there and you can stick within that foundation and move it in, in the middle of a song and still make it work and I just love the way that that just gels together that so you know anyone's like hey it's the pantanic minor well, it is if all you play is the pentatonic minor notes. Like I showed you how the pentatonic minor, it, it's based around the pentatonic minor formation, but I hope this really proves my point that, you know, once you've learned that foundation and you can move in between the sections on the guitar, then you can go outside of the typical scale that it is, and find the other notes that are around it. So, this is what I'm trying to get to and to show you exactly what I was saying. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I've proven my point. Now, tell me what you think, leave a comment. I'm really interested to know what your thoughts are on this subject. And yeah, until next time, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, because I've got heaps more coming up. And yeah, until next time, I'm Mark Shea. This is Exploring Music, associated with the guitar lessons in 10 minutes or less. Till next time, see ya!